back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In uh, today's video, we are going to look at uh, gold and silver, and uh, I'll in general discuss uh, where uh, euro is heading and where US dollar is heading. Uh, for next, I would say uh, two quarters of a year, up to December. Uh, I mean, up to August of next year. So August of 2024 and this forecast is important because we are going to see sizable moves uh, in all of the four mentioned options that I have. So we'll start with gold and let's have a look what gold is happening. So the most important um, thing that I have realized no matter especially as of the demanding retailers are concerned including myself uh, not only that we need to understand which way the direction of the move is uh, we also need to understand how the um, the price uh, would unfold so uh, I believe that we are going to see a 5f structure okay and uh, let me bring that into a on a weekly chart so a lot of people are not going to see, uh, are not going to like what the labeling is. But uh, once we consider uh, this as a three-wave structure and this as a three-wave structure at the top, and then we have a five-wave structure, these are expanded flats, especially when the price of uh, has gone beyond the starting point of the structure. And also these are three-wave structures, three-wave structures to the top, and then we have a five-wave structure. Now within this three-wave structure, we have actually two three-wave structures. We have single. Uh, a zigzag right over handing over here and then we have X and then we have another um, structure which is it looks like a zigzag um, and I believe it is a zigzag so double zigzag starting from this bottom some people say we are not supposed to include double zigzag but I have seen examples in where we include double zigzag as wave B as well once again is theory we yet have not proof of it uh, but it's, it's theory we're trying to uh, stick to the rules as as much as we can so I believe that we are going to complete uh, the ABC structure. Let me delete this and then let me bring this over here. Here is the start of the structure and I believe that we, this is wave A and this is wave B right over here and this is wave C right over here and hence a sharper move downward. So we can go ahead and we can change the um, degree as well. We can call it cycle degree and I think that's reasonable or we can call it a primer and the whole primary wave and the whole wave could be a cycle wave after this bottom is concerned we are expecting a, a almost a decade of bullish price action in uh, in gold and in silver as well uh, silver is uh, going through some different price action so we will discuss uh, the larger pattern at that when we come to it but for now we are uh, going to look at the immediate price movement and the image price movement that we are looking for is the reversal from the top and a sharper almost vertical line right to the bottom around somewhere around mid of august next year 2024 so let's now get closer to how the price action um, i believe is going to happen this trend line is very very important this includes the uh, the new top being created as well so this has to be included very important point and once again if you just connect to this point then it naturally brings in this point as well I believe that we are going to see a 5f structure starting from top we have a 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 I believe that we are going to see minimal corrections uh, as far as the deeper corrections is concerned so the largest swing I'm still expecting right now is uh, I'm expecting the largest swing to be pushing all the way towards the in the target area over here and when the prices jump over here remember that we have uh, we have to look on the lower left so these two points are actually indicating very important support levels as well so these are in, uh, recent history and they're very important i believe that price is going to hit it and then just bounce up bounce back again once this uh, behavior happens before the break of the trend line in that case the force is massive and we will not be actually maybe on a smaller time frame maybe we can actually go and retest that time but not on a larger time frame so that's why i'm expecting that on a larger time frame we're going to see a swing downward almost the wave four is probably going to jump as much as wave two and then we are going to go down so it is because so the price action there's a lot of price that needs to be covered in a shorter amount of time period and that's why i'm expecting this behavior to happen we do have smaller sub waves and i have not i'm not going to purposely include that uh, in my analysis the reason first of all I'm not really good at very very small time frame analysis um, I am 
constantly working on a um, uh, couple of uh, researchers that mm, were really famous and they were really good at in trading as well. So I'm constantly working, um, not say a couple, I would say one mainly, and that is William Dalbert Gain. So I'm constantly working on his uh, on his material as well. As much as much as I can understand it, it's pretty cryptic, and you need to have a lot of patience with that material. So I'm still, and I'm not on. Um, I'm not talking about on the. Well, let's finish it right over here. So I do use WDKN analysis in from time to time, and that's which brings a lot of edge in Elliott wave analysis. So this is the main I'm expecting that we're going to see for the price action uh, downward. We can see pull up, <clears throat> pull back, because uh, this has to be a 5F structure again as well. Starting from the top, this needs to be a 5F structure. Uh, whether this is a smaller wave 1 and 2, and then we're going to see an extended wave 3 and then 4 and 5, or either we have this wave ended 1 over here, this is A, B, and we can see a pullback C over here. So there are lots of hits and buts. That's why I'm not including the more uh, smaller price action. I am in constantly in research, and hopefully we'll be able to do so very soon so this is the larger the larger pattern than i'm expecting i have been bearish throughout uh, i would say last three four years in in gold and silver and where i was bearish everybody was laughing no the you're not looking at fundamentals well we were looking at the fundamentals and you are also looking at the mass psychology as well so let's have a look at silver silver has uh, done massive massive rewards so it was right over here when it jumped down over here i gave an indication that we are going further down and we have moved uh, massively on the downside as well with gold as well in my previous analysis i told you guys the bring the waves were somewhere over here i told you guys that the larger trend stays on the bearish and then that's the price the price action that we have seen on the larger uh, trend let's have a look at silver so silver is showing very interesting uh, pattern. Let me go on a weekly time frame. A lot of people uh, probably haven't seen this analysis. On a larger time frame that I'm expecting that almost like around 10 years kind of cycle degree, start from the start, uh, I'm expecting that this is going to be A, B, and C. So a five wave structure, uh, correction over here, which is an expanded flat, more pressure on the downside, which is A, B, and C. Wave B has gone beyond the uh, start of wave A over here to so, say so this is I'm expecting that we are going to see another uh, bottom being created um, uh, Just below this one. So I'm now this one expecting to be a leading not sorry an ending diagonal which is diverging So five three five structure hit this one is a simple uh, five wave impulse And this one is going to be an ending diagonal although it's going to be a diverging one Let's have a look at the uh, furthermore um we can zoom it further a bit let me have a look okay so i do believe that within the ending diagonal we have created completed this blue wave uh, wave one and wave two is complete right over here we have completed wave three right over here and more important recently i mean uh, we have completed wave four and more recently, we are actually going through a zigzag pattern in which wave B seems like a double three structure. So I'm considering this as a five F structure, either ending over here or over here. And this is a three wave structure. We have expanded flat, which is A, B, and C. And then we have a double zigzag pattern, or you can call it an expanded flat as well. It's up to you. And this is a zigzag. And from right from the top, I told you guys that you're expecting a reversal and we have seen a, a, a beautiful reversal. So right now I'm expecting that we have completed a, a single wave, three wave structure and a five wave structure. So we're expecting a A, B, C structure, which is a zigzag correction. All right. Uh, I'm expecting more downward behavior in uh, in silver as well. Somewhere around 19 ish dollar, I think that we could actually see price to jump up. This will be wave two. We'll see further down, right over here, very close to the previous bottom. The prices are expected to jump up above over here. This, there is an important support in this region, so uh, this region, this will come hand in hand hopefully, and then we'll see a last wave downward. Uh, as far as time is concerned, silver is running a comp 
a bit different uh, time cycle than gold. Uh, it's approximately closer to it, but we'll keep in uh, um, eye on the price structure and that will happily, uh, happily uh, be able to you know, give us a target. As far as Euro is concerned, I won't be able to show you guys the uh, US dollar chart. Okay, let me have a look Forex long term. Okay, let's have a look at your. So uh, right from the line, I'm bearish on um, Euro. I'm expecting that Euro and Gold are going to go down together. Uh, they're going to stay together. Um, that will strengthen. That means that US dollar is going to strengthen. So this um, is pretty much I'm looking at right now. Okay. I am looking at the price action that we have one more wave downwards toward in this area. So that means that this bottom is maybe maybe in the in the check now. This is an important price target for us for Euro, which is 0 0.825656. And again, it's going to take that much time. I did not. I'm not. Uh, I did not have a lot of time where I could actually go and look at the nitty gritty details like we have done in gold and silver. But the larger trend, I believe that we are clearly seeing downward. We can actually go and see um, daily time frame. And US dollar is bullish, simply. I'm not going to show you the US dollar chart. There, I've got some work that is uh, being done on, on US dollar chart. I don't want to share it right now. So let's have a look at, I would say, two hour chart, and we can increase this. Okay. Really. So this pattern that we are seeing is very important. Right in front of the correction is very important. We have clearly A, B, and C structure. Okay? And this structure just got broken. And this is very, very important in two regards. So we can see that the, the, the fourth wave prices went through it and also went through the diagonal line as well. So this is very, very important point and gives us indication that we are more further on the downside. So this is, at least, uh, if you want to put a stop loss, I would say uh, just this important support area, a price uh, somewhere around over here, there will be a better idea. And then you're expecting for the price to fall further down. I hope that I was offered some, some assistant. I wish that I, there was somebody who I could uh, go to get some help. Um, WD Gans research on a smaller time frame that includes the daily time uh, frame movement. Uh, I haven't seen if you guys uh, know some chapter of it or maybe he wrote some note where he mentioned uh, daily time frame analysis and he did some cryptic writing on daily time frame. I would love to have it. But I haven't seen any. If you guys can mention a course or anything, I would love to have written by WD Gann, not by someone else, but by himself. Uh, all right. Till the next video. Have a good one and bye-bye.